Well, my dad, he got a tumor removed. I walked in and he had no idea who I was. Ripped me apart and I'm thinking, man, God, this ain't right because I seen what a good man he was. And contrary to what I should have done is really leaned in on the time when I went in his bedroom and stole money out of his wallet to go get pills because I needed such a fix so bad. I was super, super young, super rebellious. I grew up in church, and, and if you know anything about preacher's kids, they kind of get to see the behind the scenes of how the church works and all that. So before I know it, I'm going through a divorce, I'm going through all this, these things, and, and I've got a pain pill problem that's out of control. I got a group of friends that's burglarizing. I, I want to say Rob, but it wasn't that macho. It wasn't like we went in and took stuff from people. We did it when they were not there sleeping. So it was pretty lame, whatever. But we were fulfilling, we were trying to get our fix. I think I had 12 felonies in three different counties. I ended up getting seven years in state prison. So me and this girl, we've had a relationship. She's coming and bringing her kids to see me, which they love me too. Of course, I got three brothers that really tried and tried. And, and when I, I don't know if I'm really getting at how addicted I was because it was ugly. If I, if I knew you, I had stole from you um, on more than one occasion because people love conning the people that love them most because they believe them. I had wronged everybody that knew me. I had wronged everybody I knew in the church. And uh, I had wronged everybody. But this one girl, this one woman, seen something in me that I did not see. She seen past the sarcasm, she seen past the disbelief, and seen something in me, and I imagine that's a lot like Jesus. And that was important for me, because I'm a guy, I have to see things, I have to know it, and Jesus really let me know through my wife, through, through my, well, she wasn't my wife at the time, but when I got out, we got married two days later. So I've been sober, a little over four years. I just celebrated four years sober. Well, my brother, um, I'm actually going to his church next Saturday to uh, speak at a men's conference. And my second brother, oldest brother, Pastor Kelly, and I'm the associate pastor there. So I'm hoping that they kind of like me. My mom's gravely sick. The hospice nurse actually gave us the key to her lockbox that had her drugs in it her pain medicine, and I had to administer them. I overcame the temptation. I had the key, I had to give it to her three or four times a day. I thought, whoa, God, that is, didn't think of it until now, but that is so crazy how that come full circle. Me, my dad on his deathbed and me stealing his money to them giving me the key to my mom's lockbox to administer her medicine.